There's no brand quite like it. That bike is just American legend. A Harley Davidson. I've had a Harley since for the past 20 plus years. Never had a day without one. For Brent Young. That bike's irreplaceable. His most cherished pastime was totaled nearly a year ago. Brent was getting off the Brick Church exit off Briley Parkway when he came across this very sharp turn, ultimately losing control. It's going too fast. I tried to downshift and hit the brakes and realized I was not going to make it. Dragging along this sharp gravel until the bike crashed into this concrete barrier. Once I stood up, I looked to see where the blood was. I saw blood on the gas tank and I looked down at my arm and I could see the bone. <laughs> Thankful to be riding next to a friend with medical experience. Brent was rushed to the hospital, then bedridden for a few weeks. Well, the healing itself was awful. It took numerous months to get the stuff to grow back, my skin to heal, collagen packed into my wound. But the wreck, not stopping him from getting behind the handlebars again, this time with a few life lessons. I'm a full face helmet wearer now and I wear all my shirts and pants with the armor protection and won't ride without it now. And I used to just be a open face and t-shirt guy. It's the, a thing of the past now. But even with all the safety precautions, he says roadways are becoming more and more dangerous for bikers. The city's roadways are absolutely horrendous. My buddy calls those potholes widow makers. Between the, the safety of the roadways and the people in traffic is, is the biggest issues that we have. He hopes by telling his story, he can bring awareness on how to ride safely while on the open roads. They typically say you'll never see a motorcycle in front of a psychiatrist's office. That is it. It's the wind in your face. It's way better than a convertible. There's no radio. There's no cell phone. It's just the wind. There's a just pure sense of freedom. In Nashville, Kendall Ashman, News 2.